Warning, throughout this video, I'm going to sound like a really bad army. And I have no excuse for that. I'm really sorry. I do love all seven of the boys, and I appreciate all of their hard work. But I'm, I have opinions, and it's probably going to make me sound like a bad army, and I'm very sorry. So, let's get started. Love Yourself, Her, the new album, released Monday, 2 a.m. on Spotify and DNA first. Okay, let's talk about DNA first, considering it's a title track. I'm probably going to be very detailed about this, and then with the rest of the album, I'll just, like, make my main points. So, for DNA, every member had a very iconic part. And by that, I mean Jungkook's whistling and the rest of his singing, obviously, as always. It never disappoints, or his singing. The whistle, iconic. It's been iconic since the first trailer. Um, hold on, my arm's getting tired, sorry. Okay. Um, who's next? V. V's part. His le dope. Deep. Low. Deep. Voice. It's very, very iconic. Um, very memorable. I just don't know how to explain it other than amazing. J-Hope's part, obviously hype. Um, his rap style in general is hype. And, and it showed in the song. And it was very fun. A f yes. Moving on to Rapmon. Rapmon's style of rap is more like break it down type. I feel like in a lot of songs that shows. And it definitely showed in this song. And I love it. Um, Jimin's part. Jimin's part. Uh, there's not a lot of Jimin's singing that are outstanding to me in the song. And that's probably just because, like, that goes for the same for Jungkook, in my opinion. But it's probably just because they're both, like, singing the same parts. Like, they both sing the chorus. So. <sighs> and they have their own verses. I don't know. I'm trying to sort this out in my head. I'm going along as I go. I'm going... What? I'm thinking of it as I go. So, it's going to be very messy. Um. Yes. Jungkook's and Jimin's weren't incredibly outstanding. That's all I have to say about that. If I think about it more, I'm going to feel, like, really guilty. Um, ooh, except Jimin's part when Jin is singing and then Jung Jungle comes and then V comes. Or is it V comes, V steps in front of him first and then Jungkook and then Jimin and then Jimin does this thing? Yeah. I don't remember. I remember him more from the music video than I do in the song. And that's all I'm going to say about that, because it makes me feel really bad. Um, also, J-Hope's la la la, iconic. Anyway. Jin. Jin got so many lines. It's finally, finally, he's, he's getting his moment, um, during songs. And I'm, I'm, I love it. I love his voice. I love Obviously, his visuals. I love that he got screen time. Um, and lines. Because sometimes you'll get one or the other. <sighs> I'm just proud of him. Um, oh yeah, I was saving best for last. Suga's part. It's very short. Uh, I think he got the least amount of lines. Or the least amount of song time. By the way, I think, okay, if these people who decide who gets what lines wanted the lines to be evenly distributed, they probably would have given Jungkook's rap to J-Hope or Yoong Yoongi. But that's obviously not their goal, like, so. Um, just pointing that out. Um, 
we got to see Jungle Grab also, which is always, always fun. Um, but yes, Yungi's rap. <sighs> you know how I said rap mon stylists like break it down. J Hope style or Yungi style is usually like the fast rap or the fastest part of the song. But in this song, it was break it down. It was the definition of break it down. And uh, it's there's no other way to explain it, and that's all I'm gonna say. If I try to explain it any better, I'm just gonna end up like rambling. So, moving on. That was DNA. DNA. Um, let's talk about the vocal line song and rap line song. I feel really bad because when I first listened to both uh, to each song, um, on Spotify on Monday, two a.m. I fell in love with Illegal. It was, it's such a good song and I love it so much. And that's like number one, my favorite on the album, I think. But I feel really bad because Mic Drop, I didn't love it. I almost didn't like it. And it's not that it's a bad song, no, not at all. I just, I think the fact that it's such a unique sound, I have to get used to it before I like it. Because that's how I was with Come Back Home and Run. Both very unique songs. And now I love those songs. Like, I choreographed a dance to um, Come Back Home. And I listened to Run for hours and hours on a loop. So, I think Mic Drop's gonna grow on me. I also really love that it's like an authentic BTS sound, or, you, you know, it kind of, like, it gives me vibes of, um, like, early BTS, like, almost debut era BTS, but like, modernized, you know, so, it's nice. Um, yeah, I felt really bad because I felt like I unconsciously favorited the vocal line over the rap line. That's not at all how it is. I do love the rap line with all my heart, um, and I appreciate all the hard work and all the songs they produce and write and compose and everything. Um, I think... It was just easier to like illegal. It's probably, I think maybe it's catchier. That's probably it. I think the catchier songs are my favorite songs. It, the songs that I don't love will definitely grow on me, or I hope so, um, because they are very, very good songs. Um, else? What other songs am I missing? I know. Um, I don't even need to talk about Serendipity. Serendipity is disgustingly good. Like, Kenyon, Kenyon. Yes! <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. It's, um, point blank, frickin' beautiful. And it's so chill. You could listen to it when you're in so many different moods. You could listen to it when you're happy. And it's like a calm, happy. Or you could listen to it when you're hype. And I guess you know, scream along to every, um, word. Or you could listen to it when you're about to go to sleep. I don't know. It goes with so many moods, and it's nice. Um, what else, what else, what else? Best of Me? Okay, I like Best of Me. I love the lyrics. I love the backup, um, not the backup vocals, but the, just the vocals in general. The rap, I'm trying to remember the rap. Yoongi's singing, oh my god. Um, I haven't listened listened to it as much as I have with, like, Illegal or Pied Piper or Go-Go. Um, it's probably another song that'll grow on me. I think the only reason I didn't love it is because... Choo Choo Smuckers. They left their footprint in that song. And by that I mean... There was a strong lead-up to a lack of drop and that's kind of 
the only issue I have with that song. Lyrics are beautiful. You got the best of me. Catchy. It just sounds like a chain smokers song. And I can tell. But that's okay. I'm still gonna hype it up. I'm still gonna hype up every song even if I don't love it. Uh um her they really they really rhymed her with tear. I think that's what they're saying, tear. I don't know. I haven't I haven't watched all the lyric videos yet. But I just that's something that stood out to me. Um it's a nice song, very chill, very uh slow jam. Yes, I do watch a lot of Kevin Trillup and that's um I agree with a lot of points you made. So Watch Cameron Phillip, I guess. <laughs> um, what else? I'm trying to think of the other songs. Why can't I think? Did I say all the songs? No, I definitely did not. Pied Piper, Go Go. I was saving those for last. Um, oh, and Illegal. Okay, I'll talk about Illegal first. I think I already have. Anyway, Jungkook has this high note, and it needs to be, like... <laughs> 